Welcome back everyone, this is Cocaine Adventures and my name is Alex. Today we will be doing the carbonara. I've worked in Italian restaurants for some time now and the carbonara is very special for me. Add variety I will be adding in something special that I have never used before. And this should make the dish more exciting and special. So let's get to cooking. So the first thing you're going to need is cheese. Either use parmigiano reggiano or pecorino romano. If you think that the pecorino is too salty, either put less salt in your pasta water or mix the parmigiano reggiano and the pecorino romano together, like I do here. Keep in mind that the guanciale is also salty because it is cured, so balance is crucial in this case. And of course, because I am lazy, I use an attachment from my KitchenAid to grate the cheese. It's great. As mentioned before, I am going to be using guanciale which comes from the cheek of the pork. When you are preparing the slices, make sure you take the skin off, but be careful when doing this. What I do here is cut the piece of meat in half, which gives me a nice safe edge. My personal preference is to cut the guanciale into slices and then cut against the grain to make them into nice strips. And in turn, this will give you a nice combination of two bits of fat and meat in the middle. Now what I have here is a Hungarian pancetta. I received it as a gift and I thought it would be a good time to use it. I've never had an opportunity to use pancetta before but it is a great bet for carbonara as well. Now the prep is exactly like one chalid. The only thing you need to remember is to cut off the top part and get rid of the gristle. If you don't, then there is a good chance of going into the dentist, so do cut it off. To make the egg cream, take one egg for each person and add an additional egg to the already grated cheese. For example, here I am cooking for three people, so that's three eggs plus an additional egg. I use the whole eggs because I don't like to waste anything and I don't make macaroons, so use all of it. Once the cutting and the cream is done, that's all our ingredients for the mise en place completed. All we need to do is just get on with the cooking. Now take everything that was cut and stick it into a large cold pan and put it on low heat. This will allow the fat to melt slowly and eventually give you a nice crisp texture on the meat. While the fat is melting put on your pasta water and season it. This will allow you to cook the pasta straight away. My pasta of choice is bucatini. This is a thicker pasta with a hole in the middle. And ideally, the sauce should get into the middle. When it comes to cooking the pasta, always follow the packet instructions. It's your best bet. Keep in mind that the pasta will keep on cooking when it's in the pan with the guanciale and the pancetta. So give the timer one to maybe one and a half minute less. What I also like to do if there is a lot of pork fat, strain it and reserve some of it for later. This can be used as an oil substitute which gives you a good flavor and it also has a high smoke slash burning point. To make the egg less prone to coagulating, I add roughly a ladle slash mug full of pasta water. This will temper the eggs and make them less prone to scrambling. When the pasta is ready, put everything into one pan. When doing that, turn the heat right down. This will stop the eggs from cooking rapidly.
stir slowly and if you notice that the eggs are clumped together don't be afraid to use the pasta water it's full of starch from the pasta and it's perfect for the sauce Once the sauce has nice good consistency and is able to stick to the pasta, you're done. Don't cook it further, because if you do, you will get scrambled eggs. Since it's a carbonara, you need a lot of black pepper. It's a staple. For the plating, put some of the cheese you grated earlier on top. Melt some black pepper as well, and that is it, dinner served. Once again, thank you for watching and I hope you learned something. And please remember to subscribe and like down below, it really helps me a lot, so thank you very much. And one thing, it's always about variety.